My name is Ronnie Punangbayan and this is my KIN 274 uh, final video analysis of skilled versus unskilled with a barbell bench press. And this is my assistant, MJ. She's going to be performing her unskilled version first. Uh, this is how she started before we gave her the correct cues for the proper uh, technique. So go ahead and perform your initial version. So as you can see straight off before you start here, she's gripping the bar unevenly, so the weight will not be distributed evenly. And as you can see, this makes this makes an effect here. Her shoulder joint, her joint lumeral joint here, is doing more of a uh, horizontal abducted motion, and her elbow is not performing the full range of motion as it is here. And this also will compromise the shoulder joint as well as not recruit fully the pectoral muscles here. And she's also not going through the full range of motion all the way down, which would also compromise the recruitment of her pectoral muscles. And her wrists are also in a fully extended motion, which may damage the, uh, the integrity of her wrist joint. So, yeah, that's not good. So, I'm gonna show you the correct way So you want your feet to be flat on the floor, your knees to be in about a 90 degree angle, your hips and your back to be pretty much uh, at a 180 degree angle or flat. Uh, you may or may not have noticed that her back may have arched during the lift and lost contact with the bench, but now the, my back is in full contact with the bench. So I want to grab here, just adjust the bar. Somewhere slightly outside of shoulder width or at shoulder width. You want to make sure that the wrists are in a neutral position, not too extended or not too flexed. So right here, neutral position. As the bar is lifted up, you engage your core, bring your shoulder blades down and back, and keep your elbows instead of flaring out, keep your elbows in. Bring that right back down, full range of motion there, so that you can get uh, horizontal abduction of the, of the glenohumeral joint, uh, extension of the glenohumeral joint, and uh, maximal flexion of your elbow joint. And during the concentric lifting phase, you get full uh, elbow extension, and you get a little bit of glenohumeral flexion, as well as glenohumeral um, horizontal adduction. Just like that. So, I'm gonna have MJ perform the lift correctly. All right, so you can see her, she's, her feet are flat, her back is flat, her, her grip is um, corrected, her elbows are in, and let's go. So good. Even weight distribution there. Nice down towards the chest. Full extension up. Very good. It's at the top, it's nice if you could uh, try to flex the pectoral muscles to engage those pectoral muscles so you get a nice even contraction. Very good. And make sure that you breathe out as you do the concentric portion of the lift, and you can breathe in during the eccentric lowering phase. Okay. So some reasons that she may have had that uneven tilt may be she just la lacks sufficient strength during her lockout position or during her extended position. So she has no strength in her wrists or her, or her shoulders. So we may do some single uh, joint work to complement that later on, which I will uh, explain in my paper. Thank you.